vais parler de l'économie sociale. Is a very specific kind of economy based on three ingredients, unusual ingredients. The first ingredient is that of democracy. Democratic principles uh, are present in all SSE organizations. Each member has a vote. One person, one vote. Second ingredient, solidarity which could be express, expressed in various ways. It could be internal solidarity between the members of the organization or external solidarity towards uh, people outside the organization. Finally, there is a third ingredient, the fact that profit is no longer the most important aspect. Either these, uh, there is no uh, profit, it's a non-profit organization, or there is limited profit. SSE, SSEs are also uh, different uh, organizations. In the French context, there are historically three types of uh, SSEs, cooperatives, uh, mutual insurances, and associations. But in recent decades, or rather in recent years, two more types of organizations have added themselves to a historic uh, group. Foundations which uh, have gathered importance in the field of SSEs, especially in the European Union, and also uh, social companies, uh, which are organizations, the uh, articles of which are absolutely uh, conventional, but where profit uh, really uh, takes second uh, place after social issues. The law was voted in 2014 and enlarges the definition of uh, SSE to these five elements, although uh, social companies are not considered as trading companies. Now, if we take this uh, to, into more detail, we see that, well, it's not obvious, uh, hom it's not just uh, homogeneous or easy. The uh, presence of profit, uh, for instance, uh, associations and mutual insurances are non-profit organization. Uh, in some cases, uh, retribution is possible, f but it's only part of the uh, benefit uh, of the cooperative that can be redistributed the profits of cooperatives that can be redistributed. And in some cases, uh, some of the reserves uh, cannot be shared and will go into funds that will not be redistributed to organizations or people. Finally, social companies are organizations which normally are profit organizations and the reserves, reserves can be shared. The market report uh, shows different uh, indications. Some of those uh, organizations work in the non-trade uh, market, but some of them work in the trade market and they sell services or goods at market price in a competitive situation. Third element, the relationship with democracy. It can be found in uh, cooperatives, mutual insurances and associations, but it is not true with foundations and social companies in uh, which the governance principle is a plutocratic principle meaning that the number of votes held by uh, the people depends on the share of capital they uh, have invested in. Finally, there is a dual quality principle which is normally highlighted for social economy. For instance, in a mutual insurance, an individual can be at the same time a member, shareholder of the society, and he can also himself uh, receive um, the services, be a desti destination of the services uh, provided by the uh, organization. This is not true for some associations, for instance. Therefore, there are transversal principles which never allow to have a unified vision of the field of scope of application of SSEs. The central framework, uh, the central frame you see in the middle, is the historical frame in France, which is more homogeneous than the rest. Regarding employment, over a fairly long period, about 15 years, 
Employment in S the field of SSEs in France has been much more dynamic than in the rest of the economy. Employment has increased by 25% between 2000 and 2013 versus less than 5% in the rest of the French private economy. And ever since 2008, employment in the priv in private economy has decreased, whereas it hasn't stopped increasing uh, in uh, SSCs, although at a slower pace. Now, if we uh, leave France and go to other countries, this map will show you the weight of SSCs in terms of employment, depending on the countries, the European country. We can see, for instance, that places like uh, Sweden have a high rate of employment in SSEs. In France, France is one of the countries where SSE has the biggest weight. But uh, Central and Eastern Europe countries uh, are not very strong in terms of SSEs, but this is obviously due to the fact that for a long time they belonged to the Soviet system until the uh, beginning of the 90s. And in those countries, the civil society organization was far more complex, obviously, uh, compared with democratic countries. And uh, cooperatives ex existed, except they had an entirely different meaning and were discredited following the fall of the Berlin Wall. So let us make a few observations regarding the status of uh, SSEs in France in particular. First of all, Ever since July of 2014, SSEs have uh, received a uh, form of support from uh, the French state for the future development of SSEs. There are a few laws in Europe, uh, also in the uh, Iberic Peninsula, but this is not always true in all European countries. Second element. If we take a quick look at the uh, SSC organizations, we see that there are some very small organizations, there are quite a few of those, only a few people or no people at all working for those associations or SSC buddies. This is uh, not true for cooperatives and mutual insurances, for instance, which can be fairly large. Obviously, most of these organizations are now involved in what we call the race for size. The environment they live in is such that they are encouraged to uh, group themselves and increase in size. Fourth observation, in SSEs there are original economic models. By that I mean original relationships uh, between the SSC, the mission, and the resources they receive. The uh, e original economic model are not entirely based on tr trade or market good, goods and services. There are also uh, hybridized resources, and some of these organizations are funded with uh, market goods and services, but also from public sources, subsidies, or voluntary work by some of their members, or contributions, non-money contributions. This finally leads me to the last observation, the fact that SSCs are based on organizations which very often are in partnership with other SEC organizations or public administrations, public institutions, or private organizations. One very last element a few stakes that we can identify for the current for the present time and the coming years for SSEs first of all we should find a way to stay away from what is called isomorphism and uh, the uh, SSE organizations should be able to continue transforming themselves. Isomorphism is observed when some of these organizations tend to align themselves on uh, management practices they observe in normal companies in general. Isomorphism is in contradiction with the uh, capacity to transform, which is on which SSEs are based. The second stake, SSEs should promote social innovation. The term social innovation was developed over the last few years, and there are more and more politicians uh, endeavoring to support social innovation in order to meet social needs 
with these organizations on the territories. Third stake support the production of uh, socially useful goods through SSEs, but with the help of public funding. And finally, a very strong relationship between SSEs and the territory. And this is something that we have uh, learned a lot about. For instance, the SSEs tend to group themselves in around what we call PTCE, Territorial Organizations for Ecological Economic Cooperations. 